Hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to change the color of an object using Photoshop CC 2023. So let's begin. The first step will be to unlock our layer, in this case we can click here and after that we can use the object selection tool here. Okay, so we will use this square to select what object we want to change. I want to change this part of the woman. And as you can see, it already has selected. But let's try something. Okay, let, what happens if we select everything and we want to erase this part of, of the object we want? We can press Alt or we can press Shift in order to add, Alt in order to erase. In my case, I just want to erase the boots. And as you can see, it works. We have less selection here, but as you can see, we have like this very small selections that we can erase this way. Same will happen with this. But in this case, we still have some really small dots. We can just right click on the object selection tool and we can we can select a quick selection tool. We'll have three options. We'll have the plus, minus and the normal one. In my case, I just want to erase, so I will select the minus and I can just do this with the brush and erase this selections here we don't have mm, anything so we can proceed okay so after that <clears throat> after we have the selection we can just create a group and after that we can select the add layer mask okay so we have the layer mask and as you can see it's like the shape of this object after that we can create on the adjustment layer and we will use solid color here you can change the color uh, you want for the object in my case I just want a blue <coughs> like this okay so yeah maybe a brighter one like this you can press OK after that we can press again on the layer uh, mask and we can create this uh, uh, brightness and contrast Okay, so after that, this will allow us to change the brightness and the contrast of the color and this will be very useful to achieve a very good result. Okay, so after that, we can select the entire group and we can select here on the transparency mode and we can select color. And as you can see, we already have a very good result. If we want to change the look of this, we need to press here and go to the properties tab. If you don't have this, you can go to Window and search for Properties and it will show these options. Okay, so in my case, I just want it to look more real so I can decrease the brightness and uh, increase the contrast. And as you can see, we have a better result. So that's it, guys. This is the tutorial. I hope you like it and bye.